Going on to you, Aquarius. So you have the um, Page of Wands, the High Priestess, Four of Wands, Six of Cups, the uh, Ten of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Star, which is Aquarius. So you showed up in your own reading. Two of Cups, the Magician, and you have the Death card. So what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius, right? Obviously, the Star card is you, so you definitely did show up in your reading. Six of Cups, someone wants to come back. Someone just wants to get all up in your business, right? The Page of Wands, the Page of Wands, the High Priestess. A lot of you Aquarius have been pretty much hanging out by yourselves. Aquarius does represent that. Aquarius represents the principle of kind of really, a lot of times people will say that it represents... Um, it's dichotomous in a sense that it represents the crowd and then it represents hanging out by yourselves. Really, no. Re what it really represents is the individual that is broken away from the crowd. And this is exactly what it is that you Aquarius have done. You've broken away from the crowd. A lot of you realize that the best thing for you to do is to not hang around stupid people. <laughs> Plain and simple. That's the best thing for you to do. Not hang around stupid people in the first place. Because all it is that it's going to do is get on your nerves. So, and bring you down. Sabotage you. So, guess what? The high priestess, you started hanging out by yourselves. The high priestess can represent being solitary. Being to yourself. Being alone. Right? Not lonely, because you have your own company. But being alone. Physically. Being a singular individual. Then you have the four of wands because you just don't have time for the stupidity anymore the four of wands is about while you are alone you can create your own foundation of what it is that you want to see it's no more having to deal with people who are on a lower level right everything you need to explain to them everything because a lot of times people like aquarius gemini virgo um you know, Sagittarius, sometimes, you know, we, we, sometimes we have to explain everything to people, right? Leo, explain everything to people because people are not on the level in the sense of really figure things out for themselves. They want somebody else to do that, right? They don't even try. They don't, laziness, they don't even try to figure it out for themselves. They want someone else to think for them. But the Four of Wands represents and a lot of you Aquarius are not dealing with that anymore. If you and the person can't seem to be matching eye to eye, yo, you will just be by yourselves. You'll you'll dub them to hang out by yourself. Like all of that nonsense that they've got going on. Yeah, forget about all of that. The Six of Cups represents, but see, this is where the power is because now those same people, right, that you've had problems with, they're calling you now. They want to get back in touch with you because the Six of Cups is really about people that you stopped talking to, you stopped hanging out with, trying to get in contact with you again and, and, and seeing what's up, what's going on. While the Ten of Wands is about you still being done with them anyway. You don't want anything to do with them, right? The Ten, cards can, the, the ten of Cards can represent new beginnings, but it, something has to be put to sleep. Something has to be put to an end. And what a lot of you Aquarius are putting to an end is your connection with these people. You don't want these people around. You was not thinking about them, but here they are calling you, trying to make something out of nothing because their choices that they made got them there. Got It put them in a, in a messed up disposition. So now they don't want to admit that you're right. They don't have that kind of humility more times than not. Sometimes they do, but sometimes that's just them playing another game too. And they'll get back at you for it later. But for the most times, they're going to act like they are strong and that they don't need anybody and all this other type of stuff. But in actuality, those are people that are the most broken. So they're calling you. They're coming to you with it. Like now they're trying to contact you with the nonsense. So now a lot of you Aquarius having having a chance to see how these people operate and it's like after all that type of stuff that they did 
after the relationship broke off how it did now they find themselves uh, coming back to you but you Aquarius don't want anything to do with them so now the Queen of Cups is about how since this is the case this really speaks to how you're nourishing yourself you don't owe anybody anything right Aquarius breaking away from the group that's what Aquarius really represents on a on a hidden level it really represents breaking away from the group because you can't fit in. And the reason why it is that you have a hard time fitting in, which is an Aquarius thing, right? I know because I have Aquarius in my chart, Saturn in Aquarius in my 11th house, as a matter of fact, in the traditional planet that Aquarius is in, which is Saturn, right? You have a hard time fitting in because people are always trying to run game. I ain't gonna say always, but that that 90 percent of the time they're trying to run game instead of them live their life and do what it is that they're gonna do they have to, they feel like they gotta run game they feel like they gotta they have to run game and they gotta be on nonsense and they gotta play this and they gotta do this and they gotta do that they feel like they have to do that type of stuff right when in actuality they really don't so now you aquarius right because of the fact that they running games and they playing games they doing all this it's hard to interact with those people because they're making it difficult so what is it that you aquarius do you realize that you got to break away you realize that that was the best thing that you could do and that's what you that's what it is that you aquarius did like i said breaking away from the group that's that's the the twofold situation you were once a part of the group and now you're not a part of the group anymore. Even if people know you, right, you're really still not quite like one of them because of the fact that you're you're different in that regard because of how many games people play and that you're on a different type of time, right? You really do march to the beat of your own drum. So the star, right, now represents you learning how to be okay with being by yourselves. A lot of times, let's face it, sometimes you Aquarius, can, let's face it. And this is a rites of passage for Aquarius. You have a hard time hanging out by yourself. You want to fit in. The problem is you can't because the things that you wanna talk about, the things that you, you, wanna, you wanna spend time thinking about, the experiences that you wanna have, most people do not even want that. And that's where the problem is. So the Two of Cups, right? The Two of Cups now represents, as a result of this, like I said before, it takes a person who's already into that type of stuff with the air signs, particularly you, for you to really be in a relationship with them. Because if you're, if you're into, you know, aeronautics, space aeronautics, i.e. rocket ships and all this other type of stuff or you can use aeronautics for cars right that's why the cars has those shapes the bugattis and all that other type of stuff the ferraris are supposed to be based upon space aeronautics literally like a spaceship people may not want to talk about that so you have to be you have to get to know somebody already that already is interested in space aeronautics in the first place because the magician and the, and the death represents this being a situation for you where the magician very much so is you um having to learn to come to terms with that that's where the power is if you haven't done it already that's where the power is you're having a difficult time right now even though you're never going back to this person you're still going to attract this type of people to you because you have not gotten to to into to, you have not come to terms with the fact that you are on a greater level than most of the people that you are that you are encountering you are a king or a queen standing on a hill standing on a mountain you understand what i'm saying so you sitting up there trying to make these people get on your level and 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 do better that's not going to happen it's only going to happen until they come they want that to happen 
And unfortunately, they may not ever want that to happen because luxury is a real curse. Luxury, like luxury that the ignorance and the stupidity provides of being dumb and, and a do nothing and, and a hypocrite. People would rather stay in that level of ignorance because that's a luxury. Then they, then they travel out of that luxury and they get to the level that I'm talking about, right? Or even beyond. So the death card now represents, so even though you Aquarius know that you're not going back to these people, you still need to understand that it's still going to be a little bit of a, of a hassle to talk to new people because you really, not only do you have to really test out to see if they're on, if, if they're decent, but you really have to test out to see how evolved they are, right? Because part of their decency will be striving for better. They should, you know, they, they shouldn't be illiterate, you know, illiterate, nice people. You know what I mean? That don't want anything. If, if they are and they can't read or any of that type of stuff, or they're a little bit uneducated, do they want to do better for themselves? Right? And that should let you know the, the level that they're on. Do they want to become better for themselves? If that's not something that they want then obviously there's no point in you engaging with these people so just make sure that a lot of you aquarius are checking to see if these people even want to do better so let's clarify as you're continuing to date let's clarify the six of cups so to clarify we have the uh seven of pentacles the five of pentacles then we have the star which is aquarius and then we have the six of cups okay that's a notification so we got to draw one more because we can't clarify a card with the same card ace of pentacles so the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles really is about again how you're in a spot where they need you now but the five of pentacles you don't care because you now have a better understanding of yourself. Like I said before, you don't owe anybody anything. You you already did everything that you possibly could where you tried to get to know them. You honestly did, but they didn't want that. They wanted to be stupid. They wanted, they couldn't, they couldn't meet you halfway. So guess what, Ace of Pentacles, you understand more of your value now. So now, it more you you just have to come to terms with it and start making decisions based off of that you know and stop letting people gaslight you into into them trying to get you to think that you're on a lower level and that you don't deserve anything good So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the star card, as a matter of fact. Since it keeps popping up, let's clarify the star card. The uh, strength, which is Leo, which is the opposite sign of Aquarius. Four of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Hierophant. To clarify the star. Yeah, like, people are drawn to you. You know, people are most definitely drawn to you because they like your personality. They like the fact that you know how to socialize. But unfortunately, it can be a gift and a curse sometimes because even though you Aquarius know very much so well how to socialize, you may think of yourself as being weird. Or people may try to use that you're weird, even though originally they thought you were really interesting and you were different, which you are. But the King of Wands and the, Hier and the Hierophant represents, but you have to know that they're running game when they do that. So you Aquarius really need to pay attention to kind of the things that, that people, the games that people play so that you can dub them very quickly. But you're in a very good position because you're now holding all the cards. People want your attention, but they can't get, a, uh, get in touch with you because you don't want to give them the time of the day anymore. 